you made a great analogy with you know uh, the, your band analogy because I would say the the problem is after a couple of albums, mm -hmm. all you know you go see them in concert, all you want to hear is the greatest hits. Right. So it's like mm -hmm. you know it's like oh their their later albums suck, so you just want to hear the greatest, <laughs> hits. and that's what Disney did. You know, the Force Awakens is the greatest hits album, yep. and it was like oh you know I kind of miss hearing something new. I've heard all these songs, and I kind of want something new. So let you know. Then they give you something new, and you're like, "Oh, I don't like this album. It, 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 I, I want to hear it. it's too. It's too different. Yep. You know. Oh, Luke, Luke is. You know, Luke is bitter, and 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 he's given up the fight, and mm -hmm. you know all this stuff. And there's like, oh, that's not how Luke would be. We want to see him like he is <laughs> in the greatest hits. You know, we want to see him in Jedi with the green lightsaber kicking ass. You know, we saw that movie. Yep. You know, <laughs> yep. and, and and so it's it's really interesting because uh, you can't please everyone. Yep. And what happens is it's not the creators that have the problem. It's the studio. And then mm -hmm. the studio wants to please everybody. And they, they're so worried that Twitter can kill a movie the first weekend. Mm -hmm. So then they're leaning on the creators to make sure that they do, don't do think too outside the box. And it le leads to really anodyne storytelling. Because then the studio is really – because, I mean, I heard a rumor, and I don't know if it's true, that early on Disney had really been pushing J.J. to include Darth Vader in um uh in force awakens and he's mm -hmm. like you do realize darth vader died at the end of jedi <laughs> right. you know like we'll just get him in so he comes up with kylo ren to be the darth vader stand-in but mm -hmm. you know then you know it's crazy because rogue one you know is great super original movie but what's the thing everybody remembers and loves and i'm not knocking it because it's awesome it's vader <laughs> at the end you know yep. so you know there is some truth to that you know but it's like we have to create new characters that are just as cool as Darth Vader. They're just as cool as Boba Fett. They're just mm. as, you know, cool as Luke Skywalker, or, you know. So...